Okay, hello guys and welcome back. This is another video of PHP tutorials and OOP. And in this video we'll start coding and I'm going to I'm going to uh, show you how to uh, define your first classes and what classes are. So we talked a little bit about classes in the last video, but it was a very simple um, explanation about classes. So, uh, to define a class um, let's type PHP of course, PHP text, and let's save this file and let's get out of the test site. Uh, by now I think we are done with uh, the, our project test site, okay? So you can either um, use that project to expand it if you want to okay let's go back I want you guys to see the project so you can use test site here it is okay so you can use either this project to uh, expand it if you want to um, or you can use it if you want to for your future website if you want to or you can do it with it whatever you want okay so for now I'm gonna leave this here okay and um, let's go to I'm going to save this new file in the desktop and I'm going to call this classes dot php and sorry save as save as let's go up and classes.php save it okay so let's create our first class and to create a class you have to type class and you see that in a notepad class is now in uh, blue color so it recognizes the code class and now you can uh, type whatever name you want to the class okay and um, let's create the class let's say uh, my class and in here uh, let's type, let's say, mm, uh, hello equals, oops, hello world, and here I'm going to type hello one equals hello world and here another variable called hello to here type hello world okay now um, to call uh, whatever variable we want. I told you in the last video that inside a class we can create either uh, variables, okay, or sometimes we call it properties, okay, so properties or variables, um, some guys, some programmers call it properties, some guys um, call it uh, variables, okay. So, but they are the same thing, okay? And functions, uh, maybe you heard uh, some guys or some programmers normally, instead of functions, they call it methods, okay? So, but methods and functions, it's the same thing, okay? Um, obviously, we don't type method, okay, to create a function. We type function, okay? Um, but for now, let's focus in variables, um, only okay 
Now, to call uh, outside the class, to call a variable, okay, we have to create the object my class first. The class is defined by this name, but uh, this is not an object yet, okay? This is only a class. To transform or to use either properties or methods inside this class, this my class, okay, um, we have to transform this class to an object. Okay, and to do that, it's a magic uh, line of code and you'll probably do it a lot of times. You have to type a name of a variable whatever variable you want, let's say uh, object okay. object my class equals to new so I think uh, we did a video about uh, object oriented programming in JavaScript in the series of JavaScript and we talked about this and how to create an object in JavaScript. So it's pretty much the same thing, okay? And as I told you in the last video, it's the same thing and same syntax or pretty similar to every uh, each different programming language, okay? When we are using OOP. So you'll be familiar to this uh, if you're using another uh, programming language, okay? And OOP. So object my class is equal to new and now the name of the class, which is my class, okay? see here my class my class okay so now the object and semicolon of course now the uh, I'm sorry I forgot the parenthesis so you have to type parenthesis uh, after uh, the name of the class okay so this is now an object okay and the object uh, is uh, hold uh, inside object my class variable okay now to call, for example, let's say hello, okay, if we want to call this hello, we have to type here echo, and now uh, we type, oops, object, my class, uh, object, my class, and this little symbol, right here okay um, is going to refer okay to the variable that you want to output okay uh, inside this object and the variable that we want to output now is hello okay so we type here hello and we don't need to type the symbol the dollar symbol okay uh, of the variable only the name okay so hello here okay and semicolon and now let's save this and let's uh, let's run this and it will not work because I have to put the file inside our virtual server and you as you already know our virtual server is so what you, you will do is to copy this. I forgot this. Copy. And now we have to go to the htdocs inside XAMPP. Okay, htdocs, this is the server. And in here you can paste the classes.php, paste there it is okay so now we can call we can um, in the URL in our browser we can call this file so that's it okay and now let's open the browser and here let's type localhost slash and uh, well the name was classes classes.php okay and now the output is going to be syntax error what is this 
htdocs, zamp htdocs, classes.php, line 7, Okay, guys, uh, I realize that this doesn't work because uh, to echo something, we have to create here um, a function that will echo, okay, uh, what, whatever variable we want. So we can, um, it's better this way because now I'm going to show you also how to use a function inside a class, okay. Now, uh, to use a uh, function inside a class, we just have to type function, okay, and uh, as we uh, do in PHP, or normal PHP or raw PHP, we just type whatever name we want to give to the function, okay? So I'm going to call it, um, mm, let's say, Victor. Victor or let's say result. Okay, and inside the function, okay, uh, we need to take uh, this variable here. I'm going to delete these variables because we will not need those. Okay, so we have a variable, okay, with the string hello world. And now we have a function, okay, and inside this function, this is the function that I'm going to use to echo the, the variable hello. So, um, to call the variable hello and echo it, we type echo, and uh, now we type the variable uh, hello, but before the variable hello, we have to type something um, which is called the this okay and what this means okay is uh, we have to refer okay that we are inside the class my class and to do that we have to uh, type this variable uh, what this means is that uh, what I'm going to call now with this symbol, okay, with this symbol here, um, I'm going to type now the hello, okay, so hello, and remember that to call a variable, oops, we don't need, to call a variable, we don't need the, um, uh, the symbol, the dollar symbol, okay, so what I'm doing here is inside this class call the hello variable okay or call the hello variable uh, that is inside this class and this class is my class okay so um, now we uh, type semicolon semicolon okay and down here, what I'm going to do now, obviously, is to take this out. I also have to mention you that um, we'll talk about this a little bit more in the next video. But for now, I want you guys to type this public, okay? And the function, the function is going to be public as well. So it's a function. It's a public function and a variable function. Um, and don't worry, I'm going to explain you uh, just what this is uh, all about in the next video, okay? So, public func public uh, hello variable and public function result, okay? And what the function result does is echo out the hello variable. Now, to call that, we just have to type here object, uh, object my class. Uh, and now we have to type the uh, symbol, okay, the symbol here, and now uh, just type the name of the function, okay, so the name of the function is result, 
okay and what this line of code is uh, doing is calling this function okay which is uh, which is going to echo the hello variable here okay so hopefully this will output hello world so let's see if that works and open this refresh and it doesn't work okay why it's not working okay guys so I found the error and the problem is that you have to go to your hdocs okay and you'll probably have your file uh, classes.php in here inside hdocs directory what I want you guys to do is to um, rename okay the file instead of classes.php rename it to test.php and create a new directory called test and inside test you can put the test.php okay where and the test.php is where we have the our code okay this code here okay with my class a public variable a public function and then we create an object, okay, and we called uh, from that object we call the function result, which is this one here, okay. And now hopefully we will see hello world, okay. So let's go to the browser, and we have to go in here and localhost slash test slash test dot uh, php enter and there it is okay perfect okay so now we know how to create uh, variables and functions inside classes okay um, and create an object of course so in the next video I'm going to show you or uh, explain you what public or uh, private or protected uh, variables or functions are okay so see you guys in the next video. Bye.